Let's see how China's railway mega projects are expanding in the world. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. If you want to always be updated with our new videos, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon. China is not only focusing on building high-speed railways for their own, but they are also already expanding their railway mega-projects on the other countries. So today, get ready to see 10 of China's high-speed railway mega-projects on the other countries in the world. Some of them have already been completed, while some are still in a work in progress. And without further delay, alright, let's get into it! Number 1 is the first Chinese high-speed railway in Turkey. This is Turkey's first high-speed railway linking the Turkish capital Ankara with the country's largest city Istanbul. This is built by China Railway Construction Corporation in partnership with the Turkish companies. Number 2 is China's railway project that can link landlocked Laos to Asia. This rail line being built runs from Yunnan province in southern China to Laos capital Vientiane before eventually connecting with another line being built in Thailand. Number 3 is the Kyrgyzstan's biggest railway project. Kyrgyzstan's North-South Alternative Road is the biggest infrastructure project that is being built by a Chinese company. With more than 2,000 workers, it is the nation's biggest infrastructure projects. Number 4 is China built high speed railways in Africa. Both of this sports and railway infrastructure are just part of China's Belt and Road Initiative that aims to connect much of the world. This Chinese Belt Railway is Kenya's largest ever infrastructure project. By traveling between Kenya and Mombasa on this railway, it only takes 4 hours instead of the normal 12 hours.
Number 5 is the Indonesia's first high-speed railway. This is Indonesia's first high-speed railway that is already under construction. The high-speed railway project uses Chinese technologies and Chinese important standard when building the project. Number 6 is West Africa's Chinese-built light railway in Abuja. This China-assisted Abuja light rail transit project was handled by China's Civil Engineering Construction Corporation and partly funded by the Export-Import Bank of China. This is the first of its kind railway infrastructure in West Africa. Number 7 is the railway network in China's Urumqi that links Europe and Asia. This is the result of China's Belt and Road Initiative. Because of China's railway projects, a railway hub in western China's Xinjiang region is playing an important role by connecting the Asia-Pacific region with Europe. Number 8 is the new Trans-China Railway directly linking South Korea and Europe. This is a new freight railway line linking South Korean cities to Europe. The new train goes directly across mainland China. Number 9 is Chinese built Ethiopia Djibouti Railway. One good thing about this Chinese-built Ethiopia Djibouti railway is that it cuts travel time from several days to only 10 hours. Number 10 is the Yuanjiang Bridge, the world's tallest bridge on China-Laos Railway. The Yuanjiang Bridge spans over the Yuanjiang River. Once completed, trains will be able to travel from Yunnan's Yuxi City to Mohan City before entering Laos. This is the world's tallest bridge constructed on China-Laos Railway.
So if you found this video enjoyable, don't forget to subscribe and share this with others. That's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.